welcome back to Territorial Gaming. We're, today we're going to be unboxing another package from Dart Zone. This is the Dart Zone Tomcat. It is a pretty cool blaster, 50 run capacity super drum. I'm really excited to show this one to you. So let's get right into it with the unboxing. All right, so this is the blaster and all of its contents. It of course has some basic instructions and such, which let's be honest, I haven't read in years. So, it's going to include the blaster, stock, drum, muzzle, darts, eyewear, and sights. So let's cut into everything being out of the box. Now that we have it out of the package and all ready to go, this is the Dart Zone Max Tomcat on a 170 FPS, 50 rank capacity dr super drum blaster. And we're going to be loading it up with this special little drum, which you have to load up in a weird way, which we're going to show you right now. So, loading in these darts. The way that you load in these darts on the inside is one at a time, just like that. We're going to do a quick time lapse of us loading in all of those. So that is the first 25 in our drum. Another cool thing, this front part does rotate freely from the rest of the drum. I just felt like that was worth pointing out. Now we're going to cut to us having the rest of the darts in after I show you this. All right. So... How you load in the second row is you actually put in the tip, or sorry, you don't put in the tip. You put it in the back and then pop the tip in. So you'd have to bend the, the darts a little bit. So I wouldn't recommend running any sort of thing expensive like a bamboo through here, but it is great with the darts it came with because they're just cheapy. So this is the actual drum and we're going to be loading it in together as a learning experience. It's not like the Villainator drum, which pops out. And I actually really liked the Villainator's drum. Uh, if you're curious, there is going to be a twin video to this where we are comparing the two blasters. And, alright, so I actually do have to prime it back in order to put in the drum. Alright, so you just nestle it in and then pop it, and... Oh, wow. Alright, we're going to be covering this blaster from the muzzle all the way to the stock. Starting out with this removable muzzle up front, which is going to be compatible with your Nexuses and stuff like that. Then you have these sights, and if I just remove the stock so you can get a good look through them. It has this cool sort of teeth design that I really like. They are pretty big for sights as well, which I personally like as well. I've lost my Nexus sights in a bin one too many times. Now, this is a front foregrip, and personally I find it very comfortable because I like priming it like this. Although there is Picatinny rail in case you want to buy a mod kit, so you could prime it like that. Now, of course, I've already gone over this 50 round drum a thousand times in this video, so I won't do it again, but it is still very impressive. Safety, off, on, off, on, off. If you can pull the trigger, obviously that's on hot. Now, for this back part, I want to talk about the stock a little bit. So this is actually a very nice stock. It's very sturdy. I did hear some rumors of it bending, but like not very much at all. Now, what you can do is you can actually push in these orange tabs and it will collapse. And another thing, it's an M-Strike stock attachment point, which I think is very interesting. Uh, I guess patents don't matter anymore. Now, another thing is it has this adjustable cheek rest, which actually does mate with the blaster kind of nicely if you wanted to have the stock on the minimum setting. But me personally, I keep the thing extended because I'm a pretty big person. I really do enjoy the design of this grip. It's super, super comfortable. The trigger has a cool little design right there of the target, and the finger guard doesn't mess with your fingers too much, so you can really just hold it, fire, and there's no problems with it whatsoever. It's just a very comfortable blaster, very ergonomic, and I'm very happy with its design. Now we're going to get right into the firing. All right, now we've got a full drum of 50 darts, and we're gonna slam and fire them all off in one go. This one's a workout. All right, let's see, is there any left? And 
final opinions. That was some pretty brutal 50 rounds, honestly, but I really like this blaster. And as I was slam firing, I realized that there was a little bit of a learning curve to that. Maybe you practice with this one a little bit before you take it to your local wars. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Territorial Gaming. So one last thing actually before we go, thank you so much for sending me this for free. I did not pay for this blaster. All of my opinions are my own, but I didn't pay for it. Keep that in mind. I do have a lot of fun reviewing it. I'd be more than happy to continue with this trend in the future. Uh, I th thank you all very much for watching. And for real this time, I'll see you next time on Territorial Gaming.